Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it. If it weren't for the baby. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I thought maybe she'd be different. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? 
All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca travel like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? Oh, God. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe this will work. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know? Uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Ow! 
Shit. You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Find anything? No, not even trash. I guess it's broken. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. We can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Подожди, подожди. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. What are you doing here? Nothing. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Malinka Devochka. Little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay, I am not going... Huh? Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. You durak. Clementine, hurry. Please, please. I have not heard Quiet. you. Quiet. I mean it. Anything? No more guns, but... Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please! This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey! Need we've it. got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. 
Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot take those from me. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bullshit. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? You were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? Well, did you? Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy at least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. 
Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. 